Well, as you know, if physics can provide evidence for a beginning, that is a point at which the universe actually came into existence. And prior to that point, the universe would have been nothing. Not a vacuum, not a void, not empty space, but, but literally nothing. And if that were the case, we're no longer talking about physics. We're, we're talking about absolute nothing. And now we're in the realm of metaphysics. If from nothing, only nothing comes, and the universe came into existence, the universe, when it was nothing, could not have created itself because it was nothing. Something else, not the universe, something else would have had to have done that. And that something else would have to transcend the universe. Before the Big Bang, that almost goes into, I guess, negative forever. <laughs> it's like, it's just infinity, and it's, it's sort of like a, a timeline you can't really get your head around. So, I mean, before the Big Bang, I guess you'd have to understand the concept of nothing. So such thing as more nothing, less nothing, there's just nothing. The point is, if you have absolute nothing, then, and the universe was that absolute nothing prior to its beginning, what metaphysicians say, well, the universe can't create itself. These are the questions that, that we have to ask ourselves. Do I really believe that the universe can explain itself? Do I really believe that, that uh, the universe can create itself out of nothing? Do I really believe that the anthropic coincidences can be answered by the universe itself? A and if not, do I believe then that there is something required outside of the universe to explain how something like the universe came out of nothing.